Kensington is a Philadelphia neighborhood with a higher crime rate than the national average. West Kensington, East Kensington, Fair Hill, Port Richmond, and Old Richmond are all part of the Kensington neighborhood. It is well known for its alarming heroin problem, which has earned it the moniker Walmart of Heroin. Kensington Avenue is widely regarded as the East Coast's largest outdoor heroin narcotic market. When Kensington was deindustrialized in the 1950s, it transformed from a blue collared factory neighborhood to a drug infested city. As the city's financial investment dwindled, the drug market stepped in to fill the economic void. In addition to drug users, Kensington now attracts drug tourists or people looking for the cheapest and most potent drugs from all over the country. Kensington and drug have wreaked havoc on Philadelphia's residents. Since 1994, the city's drug overdose rate has tripled, tripling the number of homicides and exceeding the number of AIDS-related deaths. Because of the area's drug problem, its crime rate is the third highest in the city at 1.21%. It's not uncommon to see people injecting heroin and nodding off on the sidewalk in the middle of the day in this part of Philadelphia. Despite the passage of time, since the beginning of the opioid epidemic, the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the country's drug problems. In 2020, there are expected to be 88,000 reported drug overdose deaths, a 27% increase from the previous year. According to the Kensington Police Department, there are currently over 80 corners with open-air drug markets. In 2020, an estimated 47 people were killed and 231 were shot and injured. Unfortunately, Kensington heroin trade is still thriving. It contributes to the city's high crime rate, which includes gun violence. The year 2020 saw the highest rate of drug and gun violence related deaths in this area since 2015. Despite the mandates and social distancing requirements imposed by COVID-19, drug dealers and addicts continue to congregate on the streets.
Due to the pandemic, drug dealers and distributors were also unable to obtain the same quantities of ingredients that they were previously accustomed to using. As a result, less potent heroin with a shorter duration of high has become more popular. This has increased the rate of heroin abuse and purchase. In the response to the opiate epidemic and drug problems in Kensington, Philadelphia, nonprofit organizations and government officials are collaborating to develop a plan of action. Those in need of assistance are being provided with safe housing, food, medical care, and employment opportunities. Even if they receive heroin addiction treatment, these people will struggle if they are homeless, isolated, and unable to find food or shelter. One of the most frequent side effects of drug use is that it causes you to lose balance and confusion.
drugs can have a detrimental effect on your cognitive abilities. Some of the long-term consequences of drugs may include permanent damage to blood vessels of the heart and brain, high blood pressure leading to heart attacks, strokes, and death, damage to the liver, kidneys, and lungs, weight loss due to malnutrition, severe tooth decay, depression, and suicide. Each day becomes more challenging. Many people here are struggling to make ends meet. It is impossible to move solely on one's own. To make the day less stressful, one must be in a group. Although it is hard to make a living in these circumstances, socialization and engaging in stimulating conversations eradicates pain and provides a sense of belonging. This spot here is a common territory that you will find most people hanging out. Philadelphia has long been known as the city of brotherly love. A name derived from the ancient Greek terms philos, which means beloved, dear, or loving, and adelphios, which means brotherly. The city was first named by its founder, William Penn. Philadelphia is also frequently abbreviated as Philly. The Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, and the Rocky Statue are all located in Philadelphia.
Philadelphia is the poorest of the largest U.S. cities, with 23.3% of residents living in poverty, outnumbering Houston, the next largest poor U.S. city, by 2.9%. The city's non-Hispanic, white, Asian, and mixed race population have seen a slight increase in poverty. Between 2005 and 2019, each group experienced an average annual increase in residential poverty of 1.2, 1.9, and 0.5% respectively. <laughs> 